Hey everybody, this is Sherry with Burn Out Hollow, hashtag old lady with tools. And I'm back from Monday Night Live again. Just uh, bringing up my Facebook page on my phone here so I can see most of the comments. So, how's everybody did? Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Hope you got to be with family and friends or whatever and had lots of good food. I know we did. But so, my live tonight, guys, I'm going to tilt you down and show you. <clears throat> so, you can see what I'm going to do. I kind of got a cold, so excuse my uh, scratchy throat. But so, here is some Christmas trees I cut out on my laser. And... um. I wanted a detailed tree, kind of like that old Christmas tree mold from IOD. And it was a great idea. I mean, they turned out pretty good. I just cut them out of um, eighth inch. I'll show you some I did out of quarter inch when we're done. <clears throat> but cleaning up these edges. Hey, Jenny, how you doing, sweetie? Clean up these edges with sandpaper was a no bueno. So I'm going to show you, we're going to do the burn method. And if you've never done the burn method, I got to tell you, I'm kind of addicted to it. It is great for these detailed stuff like this. But let's get these decoupage first. And of course, I'm using several uh, papers from Royce. Um, I, I think this one, I'm going to do on the little one. I think it's from the junk journal blocks. So um, I'm going to get these trees decoupage first. And then I'll show you how I... Uh, cleaned up the edges and I want to lay my paper down here and I honestly cannot read music I'm probably going to put the paper on upside down but oh well we're not going to worry about it right right and I'm going to miss my paper like I always do I have found that truly does give me a wrinkle-free um, finish. So, we'll lay it down, get the wrinkles out, and then I'm going to move on to the other one. Now, when you're going to use the burn method, I will tell you the one thing I found out is you want to make sure that your edges are stuck down really, really good. Because otherwise, um, I'll show you the paper will burn past your, oh, let me get in here. The paper will burn past your, your edges and on, and you'll be able to see your wood behind it. So, which I did have that happen and I'll show you how I fixed it and all that when we get done here. And this, this tree is going to be done in the corrugated metal. Let's see if I can get you guys in frame. There we go. I'm going to lay my paper down like this. Give it a good spritz. Make sure it's stuck down. Oh, hey, Joni, my beautiful sister. <clears throat> Glad you had a good time on your trip and you guys made it back. I can't wait to hear all about it. So this tree is going to look kind of like a metal tree, which kind of industrial look, I guess. I'm okay with that myself. So, And again... You want your edges stuck really good for this method that I'm going to show you. But I'm not kidding you, dear guys. It is a game changer for really intricate projects. Yes, I seen your mittens, Jenny. I absolutely loved them. They were adorable. Well, hello, Sherry Martin. The corrugated tin, Jenny, is like probably one of my most favorite favorite papers i find myself wanting to use it all the time and i literally got to stop myself because i'm sure people want to see something other than the, the corrugated tin but i can't help myself because i love it 
then this is the burlap and i don't know if it was the portrait of the landscape because again these are just scraps that i had and i love using my scraps up so i just found some scraps that i thought would look okay on a tree and um that's what we're using tonight so yes the trolley paper jenny and the underwood crate those are some of my other favorite ones well hello julie thank you for joining me tonight i know it was only been a week since i'd been on because i wasn't on last week so i guess two weeks but it feels like it's been forever <laughs> But if you don't know why I was missing an action last Monday, you can go to my website and I actually made a self-contained outhouse, you guys. And um, I had to finish it up Monday night or Monday. So I didn't have time to get ready for the live because I just wanted it done. But I have to admit, I'm kind of impressed. It turned out pretty cool. Hi, Linda. How are you doing? Okay, so I want to dry these real quick and check my edges before I actually um, seal them. It doesn't matter if you seal them before you burn or after. That really does not matter at all. It's not a, a one way. Oh, that's kind of cool, Jenny. Yes, I knew it said Illinois on it. I love the background of it. I really like industrial grunge primitive. That's my jam, which is probably why I'm drawn so much to this uh, corrugated metal. Well, hey, Cinder, you made it, sweetie. Good to see you. <clears throat> Your hubby watching too? If he is, tell him I said hi. <laughs> I just want to dry these enough, guys, so I can check my edges. <clears throat> yes, Lexi. I thought this burlap tree would, the burlap on a tree would look really cool, too. And I really like the music note paper, but if I have to be honest, guys, it probably would not be my first choice on a tree. But I think you could decorate it up and have it look pretty cool. Oh, I'm sorry, you're sick, Cinder. Hope you feel better soon. <clears throat> But I think it will be, I think the paper will be fine. And this was the first one we decoupage. So what I want to do is get, see how these edges are not stuck down. If I was to do my, my burn method, it would burn way back to there. And that is what I don't want. Well, hello, Janetta. Thanks for joining me. So I'm going to wet this down or put some more medium down, I should say, and make sure that this paper gets stuck really really good on the edges because the last thing I want it to do is to burn past my wood like I said when I tried it the first time which is how I knew that you wanted these edges stuck really good I was able to fix it hi Susan Susan you didn't mess up that snowman I thought your snowman was adorable I thought you did a wonderful job and I so appreciate you um, sharing pictures I love seeing Pictures of kits that people have bought from me and did. So I'm just really going around and making sure these edges are stuck. Really good. And since I made these stuck down really good, it's I think it will help too if, if I um, go ahead and seal the top of this also. And we'll set that aside. We just got to check all these other ones. Get everything stuck down really good. And then I'll show you what I decided to do for the 
stands on these. I had I cut these out on my laser, like I said, but I had a hard time trying to make a stand because I'm not a designer for lasers. I'll just say that right up front. I'm getting it to work. So I came up with a different idea on um, what you could use for a Christmas tree stand. And I think it is, they're just as cute, if not cuter, in my opinion. So then we're going to get these sealed down really good. And if you notice, I'm making sure the edges, I am getting pretty wet, but you that's probably the most important key that I found out is you want those edges down really good to do the burn method. And this has got a lot of excess paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim it off. Because you would do this anyway before you do the burn method, or I do. So... Let's get them, let's just get some of the paper cut off on here. There we go. Oh, hey, Kathy Kent, how are you doing? Kathy Kent Winter, my friend. How you doing, sweetie? Hope you had a good weekend at your show that you had this weekend. Hope it went well for you. We're going to stick it down. Really good. I do not like seeing all this white. So let's go around. And make sure it's stuck. Very, very good. Just wipe that. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing you too. Okay. We're just going to get it stuck down really good. And don't be skimpy. I think my cup's almost empty, but we're almost done here with the medium, I think. With your medium, especially on those edges. Okay. <clears throat> and now we're going to give this a dry, and then we'll check the edges again. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and trim this paper off a little closer while we're at it here. It's that much less paper I got to worry about it curling when I'm drying it, right? Okay. Let's give it a dry. I'm just making sure my edges are really stuck down. We'll let that dry a little bit on its own. And then again, you want to trim your paper fairly close to your Christmas tree. This will just cut down on the flames from when you burn it. There we go. Turn this over. We can trim a little bit off the stem. Give this a dry again. <clears throat> it's 
See if we can get both of these dry. Yes, Sherry, today I think our high was like 18. It's cold here. Um, but it is November, and I am in Iowa, so I can't complain, even though I will complain, because I do not like the cold weather at all. Well, hi, Sheila. Didn't see you sneak in there, sweetie. Well, Jenny, I sell these on my website if you don't know where to get one. They're under the heated craft tool. Absolutely love this thing, especially for lives. And I like them for my classes, too, because then um, it's not quite so noisy. Okay, so I'm just going to check my edges here. And I'm just checking it like this, and you can see where, for the most part... They are, it's stuck down pretty good. But I have a, see, let me see if I can get you in frame here. See when I peel this back, I don't know if you can see it, but we still have a little bit of white showing. And I absolutely do not want any of that to show through. Well, hello, Lauren. <clears throat> How you doing, sweetie? Well, Sherry, I live up on a hill, and most of the time, it's just, it, I'm used to the wind. I mean, it if it if there's any kind of wind at all, um, we're gonna have it here, and I'm just used to it. But if you're not used to it, it does kind of suck. I get it. And these trees have a little scallop edge at the bottom here. So I'm just trying to make sure it's stuck down really good. I just hope, guys, that these turn out as nice as the ones I tried earlier. If not, I'll show you the good ones and we'll just we'll forget about these ones, right? <laughs> Am I the only one, you know, the ladies out here that go live where if you try and it works out perfect, and then when you go live, you're like, yeah, watch it fail. Watch it be a complete fail. <laughs> That's my biggest fear when I go live. <laughs> but oh well, I've kind of learned to roll with it too. It's like if it if it happens, I guess it happens, right? <laughs> Not a whole lot we can do about it. I am kind of learning how to roll with it, guys. Usually we make them in to be a learning experience, right? Well, hi, Deborah. Thanks for joining me. Just trying to get this these edges. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. That's probably the hardest part, really. And you know, when I wanted a detailed tree, it sounded like a great idea. I thought, oh, that would be so cool. Talked to my friend Lexi about it, and she's like, yeah, that would be cool. <sighs> yeah. I didn't think about... Um... The cleaning up, if you decoupaged it. You know, trying to sand all them little... Um... Looks and crannies, yeah. Right, Sherry? <laughs> Especially with my luck. <laughs> yeah, good thing we can laugh about it because it is what it is. <clears throat> Nothing we can do about it, right? <laughs> I'm just going to make sure. <laughs> yes, Lexi, I know they're stinking cute. That's why I had to find a way to... An easier way to clean them up because this big tree here, I'll show you the finished one after we're done here, guys, but it took me like three hours to clean it up, and I was like, oh, heck no. No, no, no. I don't have enough time to do that. 
And then the little ones would have been even harder because they're smaller. Okay. We are going to give this a dry and we are going to try cleaning these up by burning them. Well, hi, Stacy from Western New York. Thanks for joining me. Oh, Lexi, it is so fun to light stuff on fire. I do think I have a little pyro in me. My husband does too, but that's okay. We all need a vice, right? At least I just start stuff on fire that is supposed to burn. <laughs> it really is fun to light stuff on fire. I'm sorry. I really do. I really do enjoy it. <laughs> okay. Here comes the fun part, guys. So, we are going to clean this tree up using the burn method. And I don't know if you ever have. I've seen, I've heard people talk about it. Yes, Susan, your mom and I, we have, we're kindred. I've heard people talk about burning the paper to clean up the edges. And honest with you guys, I used to be, I was scared. But when it comes to when you don't have a choice, you're willing to try it. So I went and I got my trusty old spray bottle here. In case there's a small fire, I can put it out. <laughs> but the technique, it's just even fun to watch. So are you ready? Here it goes. All you do is light the paper. And see how it just follows? Let me get in the frame. See how it's just following the, the the shape of the tree, basically. And then it goes out once it hits the wood. <clears throat> and if your paper goes out like that, not a problem. You just relight it. I don't know. There's just something about this. I really like I really like this method. I do I like the sandpaper method too, but this method here, I don't know. There's just something about it. And then you want to clean up the edges. So I just take <laughs> Okay, Sherry, get the screen grabs. <laughs> And, you know, you're going to want to clean up the edges. But the nice thing is, is your sandpaper then will clean all that off. And, yes, if it didn't get right into this little cranny here, the paper sands off so much easier than if I hadn't have burnt it. For whatever reason, I can't explain it. I just know it works. So I just go around the edges like this. So then you just go around and clean up all your edges. And then I'll show you the way I check to make sure. Because this tree was so detailed, there was a tin, a ton of nooks and crannies. So turn it over and like right there, you see that white? That tells me the paper didn't burn in there. But the nice thing is, is, See, I can just go in there with my sandpaper like this, and it knocks it right off. It is so much easier. I'm not kidding you, you guys. This has probably got to be one of my new favorite methods of cleaning up. And I just keep turning it over and looking, making sure I didn't miss a little cranny or something. Pyro crafter. <laughs> that's hey, that's a good name for me, Colleen. I'll own that. You're probably gonna see me burning a lot more stuff, trust me. If it's this easy, heck yeah. So then I'm just gonna go around and clean it up. Then we'll set the other two on fire so you can see it. And because 
I like to burn it. So we're going to be burning some more stuff so you guys can actually see it. You burnt up Santa's sleigh. How did your sleigh start on fire? Mine seems to go out, Deborah, as soon as it hits the wood. I'm curious to know why you're started on fire. And I'm thinking all these little nooks and crannies don't get burnt out because it's probably not completely dry in there with the medium. But I'm actually okay with that because then I don't have to worry about uh, it burning all the way up either, right? So as soon as I have it cleaned up to where I want, which you can spend a little time doing that, but you guys are getting um the just of it see now do you know how long that would have took to sand to literally sand all that stuff more time than i wanted to spend to be honest with you let me get that look at that that looks so cool let me clean off my the ashes And then what I do for this little stem down here, I just dip it in some water, my little paintbrush into some water, and I just use the wet tear method on it. Grab a hold of it, if I can, and give it a tear. There's not a whole lot of paper there. There we go. And there you go. There's the one tree. And actually, the music paper doesn't look too bad on there. So, I'll try that, Cinder, on the next one. But I don't know. There's a lot of nook and crannies. I don't know if I got the patience to sit there and clip them all. I'm just saying. I don't have a lot of patience, you guys. There's a big old piece of paper stuck in there. There's still some little nook and crannies, but there you go. And the nook, and I will say they, they do sand up pretty easy. Okay, so these seem pretty dry. So I'm gonna try what Cinder suggested. And I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna clip into some of those little crannies my um scissors won't get into but we're gonna clip up close to them and we'll see if we get more cleaned up we'll give it a try Like I said, this thing was so detailed. Okay. So now you can see, I hope you can see where I clipped. Close. Let's light this baby up and see what happens. You ready for the screen brag, drag? Screen grab, Sherry? Because I'm going to burn again. Here we go. This method really is cool. I'm sorry. I'm kind of like addicted to it now. What do you guys think? Do you like this method? Wouldn't you just love this? Because I was trying to get in all the little areas, kept relighting, holding my head down in embarrassment. <laughs> Oh, Debra, that's how we learn. <laughs> like I said, I was afraid I was going to need my squirt bottle and uh, end my life because I started a fire. But this is working pretty slick.
It is satisfying, Rochelle. It's just so cool. I don't know. Thanks, Lauren. I think it is really cool, too. I'm like I said, I'm kind of addicted to this technique, you guys. I am not going to lie. Okay, we're going to turn it over and look. Yeah, Cinder, if you look, see, I think these are just too, they're too shallow. But, they're, they, but they clean up easy, so I'm not too concerned about it. And I'm going to, we'll light the last one. Oh, sure. Yes, Sherry, exactly. Now, see this one. See that little bit right there? See, my edge was not decoupage down all the way. And that's what I mean where the paper burnt past the tree. So, yeah. I mean, you can fix it. But that's why I want, that's why I try and make sure my edges, see right there too, where my edges are um, really uh, sealed down for that reason. But like I said, it's very fixable. It's just one, it's just a little more work, but you know, it's not like your tree is trashed and you can't use it. I think these trees would be really cute, you guys, like with a little metal star, you know, attached to the top here and maybe some raffia hanging down. And like I could see Lexi really embellishing these with her artist brush strokes and the way she sees stuff is amazing. We're just finished burning this and then I'll show you. Um, I will show you some that I did already. <clears throat> Got them all cleaned up and they're on a stand. And I will share with you my stands um, that I had come up with. But that is how you do the burn method. And the bigger one, yeah, it's going to need... Uh, it's going to need some cleaning up, which is not a, it's not a big deal to me. So we're just going to lay these off to the side. And now I will show you to put the water away. No fires today, people. That's a plus. So let me get what I made earlier. Get this stuff out of my way. And like I said, I ended up cutting these out of a, quarter of an inch those these ones here are eight and i cut these <laughs> hi glenn <laughs> i cut these on a quarter inch which i actually like them better but um and then i aged them i aged the edges with uh, my archival uh espresso ink but like i said i was trying to make a little wooden stand that would hold these up like would hold this up like this I wasn't having much luck with my lasers. So I actually like the idea that I came up with better. So like this little stand, let me show you. It's one of those spools and I just cut it in half. And then I glued my tree down inside of it. And I just uh, painted it one color and dry brushed it another on this one. <clears throat> and that's just some paper off of one of the Christmas papers, which I thought turned out pretty cool. And this is another one off of the Christmas papers. This is the first one I tried burning. And this tree burnt past the edges like that big one did. Thanks, Cinder, where you could see. So what I did is I just mixed some paint to try and match this dark green. And then I even put some dark green throughout the rest of the tree so it wasn't such a stark, uh, drastic change. And then I just did all around the edges and that covered it up. And this tree stand is the other half of this spool i just cut it in half and used them on these two and they um they stand up fine they stand up good and then 
this tree is from some Christmas paper from last year, I think, that I decoupaged. And again, I just dirtied up the edges with my archival espresso ink just to make it look aged. And if I had it, I think I can show you on the other one. Um, and then I had a just a big bead that had a hole in it. So I actually decoupaged that with a corrugated tin paper. Imagine that. And um, glued mine in there. And it worked perfect. Oh, can you see it? They'll stand up. So that was, and I actually like these stands better than the wooden ones. And these other trees that I'm making, I had those like little candle cups. I had some little wooden flower pots. I think all of them would be adorable as a tree stand. Um, but I will show you on these trees because they're laser cut, you know, which is burnt. This is a tree that I did and I cleaned it all up. But you see those edges, how they're, that doesn't have no distressed ink on it. That actually is the burn from the trees, from the laser cutter coming through that edge because I didn't um, prime this or anything. So it bled through, but I actually like it because I'm going to distress edges anyway. So it didn't really matter. But so anyway, and this is the other one. So you can see those edges. They haven't been distressed at all yet. But there's my trees, guys, that I made. Hope you like them. It's a short live because, I mean, didn't take long to do that because the burn method is so cool. I will continue to clean up these trees that I made today. Um, hope you guys like that. Hope you try the burn method. If you do, let me know what you think. Like I said, it's not near as scary as you think. Um, I wouldn't do what, what Deborah did and keep lighting it. <laughs> Clean it up with the sandpaper. But that's how you learn, right, Deborah? Thanks, Sherry. You guys, um, I really appreciate you joining me. Let me get back up here. Joining me for this short live. Hope you enjoyed that burn method. It is like, uh, well, thank you, Jenny. I do try and make them look detailed. But like I said, I think... Like even um, a little wooden star. Thanks, Joni. Or um, like on this big one, I think if we just tied some raffia and let it flow down, I think that would be cool. So I'll be decorating these up a little bit more than this. But I just thought um, I just thought it was a cool idea. And uh, yeah, so that's all I got for you guys. Thanks, Rochelle. Thank you guys for joining me. I so much appreciate it. Much love. You guys enjoy the rest of your evening and have a good week. Bye.